Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. Normally, when you are thinking about affordable laptops, you're usually thinking about a Chromebook or a, a Windows laptop. Now, in my personal opinion, if I was going to get a really low-end laptop, I would rather get the Windows laptop versus a Chromebook uh, because the Chromebook, to me, it's not really a fully featured operating system. Whereas the Windows laptop, you do get a fully functional operating system. Okay, so that's my personal opinion. However, when it comes to the Linux world, your choices are not as, I would say, uh, readily available as you would think, especially since the Linux operating system is free. Um, now, there are and there have been manufacturers who have tried to uh, sell Linux laptops, you know, I mean, from Dell all the way to a recent one that I talked about, which is the KDE Slimbook. However, even with the KDE Slimbook, you're looking at more of a mid-tier laptop, you know, like $700 and up. So these are more, I would say, out of the reach of most people who are looking for budget laptops that are running Linux. However, more and more manufacturers are not stopping. They want to bring Linux to the masses. And that's really where I think Linux will have its most opportunities when it's offering laptops that are even less expensive than its Chromebook and Windows counterparts. However, giving a really basic computing experience to people who are using it, uh, which I really think these offer. And more so with Windows, you know, it actually offers you a lot because of the fact that more things uh, run on Windows. However, for the majority of people, I think when they're thinking of budget laptops, they're just basically looking for something to browse the web um, and watch movies and maybe play a really, uh, you know, a little light video gaming every now and then. Now, with that being said, there is a new Linux laptop on the block and it's called the Pinebook and the pricing is absolutely awesome. This is actually what I was thinking of when I'm thinking about affordable Linux laptops. They start at 89 US dollars, you know, uh, it's 11.6 inch uh, LCD screen up to a 14 inch LCD screen where you could pay just $10 more um, and you'll get a bigger screen. Now, before I get into this whole pine book, um, what is this whole pine book about? Well, it's actually a successful Kickstarter project. It was a pine A64 back in 2015 and it's basically made to compete against the Raspberry Pi, which is a SBC device or a single board computer. These are basically bare bones computers and a lot of the components in these SBCs, they're basically a smartphone components. You know, this has an ARM based a quad core processor it has a Mali GPU um, and 512 megs up to 2 gigs of RAM and also has a micro SD card slot for its animal storage and some HDMI ports and whatever so basically really really bare bones and it's actually uh, from this company now that's uh, Pine64 um, that's the name of the company and that's where you could get their boards and that's really what they're known for uh, from this successful Kickstarter project. So definitely a company that is uh, reputable, um, that is actually a real company. You know, a lot of these Linux laptops that you find, they're mostly just like generic brands, primarily from uh, China that you've never heard of. And so um, this is really good that uh, it's from a company such as this. So you kind of know that, you know, that you're not going to, you're going to get your product basically. Okay. So that's why I wanted to go over that first. And then, um, Going back to the Pine Book, what do you get for your uh, $89? Well, you know, like as I stated earlier, you get 11.6 inch screen. Um, you get a very, very usable laptop, meaning all your basic features are going to be there. Okay, it's got an HDMI output. It does have expandable storage, as I said earlier. The micro SD card slot can hold up to 256 gigs, which is nice. Um, it has USB ports, thankfully. Um, even the MacBook Pros don't have a uh, USB port so um, that's nice and also a headphone jack wow that's a feature now and the specs below this is very very similar to what you would get maybe a little less than what you would get in a Chromebook um, or even a uh, Windows laptop but looking here you get the uh, the quad core uh, you know a pine board as I was stating earlier and this is their quote unquote higher end one so this is their $29 board get two gigs of RAM and you do get 16 gigs of built-in memory which is similar to what you would get with the Chromebook or Windows laptop 
and there's actually two USB ports, which is nice, and all the other ports that I talked about earlier. Now, at this price point, you know, you're not going to be really getting a lot of high-end specs. You know, like the display, it's a 720p screen, so that's 1280 by 720. It does have a 1.2 megapixel front camera. But, um, you know, if you think about it, you know, what everything that you're getting here, and the operating system, it should be Debian or Ubuntu based, but everything that you're getting here for this price, I really think that this is absolutely awesome you know um now in terms of availability you just can't order it right now I mean you could you could send them an email and they'll let you know when it's ready just remember this is a very small company but I really feel like this is where a lot of people who want to get into the Linux space this is where they need to be focusing on okay very low-end basic computing computers that actually does have some quality in it this is not a bad looking laptop at all but at the same time you know it gives you all this uh, basic functionality uh, without being tied to an operating system that is either limited you know like the Chromebook or that has uh, Windows on it if you're not a Windows lover and so I really think this is a wonderful option for a lot of people and I hope that uh, more companies come out with laptops like this and I hope that this sells well because you know if I'm thinking about you know having a real basic laptop um, and also wanting Linux on it this is more what I'm looking at and I think this is more of a price that a lot of people would actually be willing to spend okay now it also comes with the fact that uh, this company they're really geared towards geeks and so I like that aspect of it. you could even download the whole schematic for the laptop which is really really nice so if you are really into this or you are a engineer a hardware engineer um, you would really appreciate this so it has the specs for every component or the diagram uh, for this particular laptop so that's really cool <laughs> really something unique that I I really appreciate here so that's pretty much it for this specific episode uh, the pine book um, you could head over to pine64.org or just type in pine book and uh, come check it out you know um, there's also a build to order as well and so if you had any thoughts on the Pinebook or any other Linux laptops like the KDE Slimbook or System76 or even the Dell Linux laptops be sure to leave in the comments area below and as always if you did get a lot of value out of these videos be sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you wanted to support my channel further you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors all that information is in the description area as well thanks for watching see you in another episode Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.